So today we're on our way down to throttle. Uh, Mickey asked us to come down to help him with the suspension system for their 350Z that they've done the Tesla swap on. Um, the challenge we're facing with on this car is that the rear suspension itself is out of the Tesla and the Tesla Model S, if you will, and the body itself is a 350Z, so we have to get the two units to go together. So today we're going down to take some measurements and design up a set of struts for it, so that way we can get this car on the ground. today with Mickey from Throttle and we're here to work on their 350Z project. We're going to help them develop a set of struts for the conversion when they did the Tesla swap over to the Z. What we're going to make up for here is we're going to have the lower shock go into this bottom fork on the spindle and then up here we're going to make an adapter go to the upper factory shock mount and put the strut unit in between here. Alrighty guys on the way back up to the shop to go ahead and take those measurements that we took down at uh, throttle and we'll get the struts measured up and designed so we can get them built. Alright after that long road trip we got everything measured down at throttle. Let's go ahead and get the shock designed up so we can work on making them. With everything designed bracketry wise for the upper strut mounts, let's go out to the shop and make some parts. So here's those strut mounts you saw us making up. This is gonna be for the front, this ones are for the rear. We have relieved the uh, mounting point for the rear upper mount. It's gonna go up into the body. Since they have the studs hanging out with the, we need to putting a nut on here to secure it to the top. And then on these, we're gonna do the upper, the three studs to go through the top as well as the pillow ball to hold the shock shaft. Let's go ahead and get these things assembled up. Here's our shock bodies as we get them in. We're gonna go ahead and get them torn apart, uh, modify the internals of these shocks so we can get them ready to put the bags over them. All right, we've gone ahead and modified these struts to get them ready for our bags. Um, we have everything blown apart here with the lower mounts, our upper mounts, and our bags. All right, with everything prepped, ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and get these struts assembled up. So what we have here is the rear assembly. We did our little bit smaller of a bellow. This one will expand out to 4.4 inch. And for the front, this bellow will inflate out to 5.4 inch. We have more space in the front than we do in the back. Um, with that rear body being so tight against where the bag's gonna go, I wanted to run a little bit smaller bag to get us more clearance. Um, here's our upper strut mounts that we made for the rear and the front. And with that, they're all done. We're gonna get these things packed up, take them on down to throttle, and get them thrown in the Z. We're back on the road today, on the way down to Throttle to install the struts in the Tesla Swap 350Z. Here 
we are fully mounted. We had the top, we had to modify the back wall a little bit to get room for the bag because it is a little too tight in there. Uh, Mickey went ahead and mounted up the leader hose to the side of the subframe there and ready to hook up the hose from the E-level system once they get installed. But for now, we're gonna hook it up to some traders. All right, that's gonna do it. It's been quite the road trip going down the throttle. I'd like to thank those guys for inviting us down to participate. Um, make sure to click here to view the installation of it. It went really well. Um, we did have a little bit of a challenge in that rear suspension. It is a little bit too tight, but we got it in there. Everything works real well. Um, front got a ton of lift. The back end's got pretty good, um, but with that amount of lift out of the front, it's gonna be enough to be able to clear the speed bumps for the rocker panels. Um, make sure to click right here to view the um, full-on build of the vehicle. They do a really cool thing with this car. And any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you soon.